corresponding to me. Okay. How can we make a nitrile? Main way is going to be an SN2 displacement of an alkyl halide. No primary or methyl halide, we can add CN minus to it and make this cyanide. We can also dehydrate a primary amide and form the corresponding um, nitrile also. So those are the two ways we can do it. It has to be though a primary amide to, to turn into the nitrile. And the mechanisms on the next page. So here we have dino chloride. So we can use the nitrogen electrons to form a double bond, send the electrons from the oxygen to go attack the sulfur or break the SO double bond. You could just have the, the carbonyl go attack the sulfur and then draw a resonance structure if you wanted to. It's six of one, half a dozen dozen of the other. However you want to do it is fine. Then we have the good leaving group on here so we reform the, the SO double bond kicking off our chlorine. We're in a carbonate so we can have a, the carbonate come grab a hydrogen form Oops, got a little mistake in my drawing here. Sorry. So, we can just remove this hydrogen and do that. Let's get rid of that there. So that gives us the double bond. I shouldn't have used the nitrogen lone pairs in the beginning in this. So that gives us the double bond. Then we can have another carbox carbonate come grab the last hydrogen, form the triple bond, and kick off the leaving group SO2 to give us a nitrile. Okay. Sorry about the mistake right there. Ignore that little arrow right. It's not important. Let's see if I can blot it out with a white pen. There we go. You can't tell it's there. So, and every once in a while we all make mistakes. It's just we got to make sure we're we correct it as we're going along. So, and I will have to correct that in my notes as when I get time. So. There's that mechanism for making the nitrile. So we can cleave a nitrile with acid catalyzed acid and heat that goes through the amide and keeps going to the carboxylic acid. The mechanism is shown on the next page. With it being acid catalyzed, it's a lot longer than the base catalyzed mechanism. So again, we have to be careful about that. But we're gonna protonate the, the nitri nitrogen of the nitrile, oops, Wrong color, sorry. Protonate the nitrogen of the, the nitrile by removing a hydrogen off of hydronium. That makes the nitrile a great electrophile, which water can then add into the carbon, sending electrons to the nitrogen to neutralize the positive charge on the nitrogen. We can remove the extra hydrogen off of the oxygen we just sent in. And then we can protonate the nitrogen again, draw a resonance structure, sending the electrons to the nitrogen. We have to protonate the nitrogen before we do this so we don't end up with a negative charge on it. When we do that, oops, got an extra step in there, ignore that. We can then remove the extra hydrogen off of the oxygen to neutralize the oxygen, and we're at the amide. We have shown the cleavage of the amide before, where you protonate the 
put the oxygen hydrogen back on the oxygen add another OH in there if we need to draw the whole thing feel free to ask it's a few pages back in there okay we can also do this with base catalyzed where since we're in base we add the hydroxide form the nitrogen with the negative charge it goes and grabs a hydrogen off of the water that the hydroxide is in remove the other hydrogen off of the the oxygen to give us the O minus draw a resonance structure sending electrons to the nitrogen giving us the carbon oxygen double bond protonate that and that gives us the amide which we have shown the acid the cleavage from the amide to the carboxylic acid already in base catalyzed solution also and if you have any questions about it feel free to ask in class we can again if we need to so what else can we do to a nitrile we can add a Grignard to it where we get the carbon nitrogen double bond with a negative charge on it and then we cleave that with acidic water to the ketone or we can reduce the nitrile down to the, the primary mean with LAH where we just add a H minus N form the negative charge on the nitrogen then so how can we form a carbon carbon bond we can add a Grignard or an alkyl lithium to any one of the, the compounds that has a leaving group on it and we can go from the acid derivative to a tertiary alcohol. We can do the same sort of thing with LAH, but that's not forming a carbon-carbon bond. We can add a cuprate to an acid chloride, and we make a ketone, or we can add a Grignard to the nitrile, and we get a ketone out of that. So we can either form a tertiary alcohol or we can get a ketone out of it depending on what are we looking for in the reaction. So a second type of carbon-carbon bond forming reaction is where we're not adding a carbon to the carbonyl carbon or the, the acid, the oxidation state of the carboxylic acid, but we're using we can use a nitrile to displace the bromide to may add the carbon-carbon bond, making the chain one carbon longer, and then we can cleave that to the carboxylic acid. Or we could add magnesium and then CO2 followed by acidic water, and we add one carbon on to it. We can do it either way to add a carbon on there and get to a carboxylic acid, where the, the carbon that's attached to our carbonyl is this carbon is either acts as a nucleophile in the process or acts as an electrophile we can do it either way so we can we have multiple ways we can go about making things